from Braves Insider Grant McCauley joins us for our favorite segment, Grant's Game Changers. It's been a while since we've done this. It's been a minute. But we really need to because there have been some game changers for the Braves. Let's talk about a guy who much anticipated strong return, Ronald Acuna Jr., NL Player of the Month. What do you like about him? Yeah, well, you got to love just about everything Ronald Acuna Jr. does. And the reason why is he does everything. He is hitting for average. He is hitting for power now. People were wondering about that to start the season. Don't worry, it's coming. I think there's going to be even more leading the major leagues in stolen bases coming into the month of May, scoring about a run per game, which last time I checked is pretty good as well. <laughs> and he's getting on base at a clip at which I don't think he's ever done in his career. And he just looks comfortable again. And there's a lot to be said for when you get comfortable, what you're able to do. And at 25 years old, the scary and crazy thing about Ronald Acuna Jr. is he has not even begun to hit his peak yet. That should be something we can be looking out for and looking forward to for a long time. That is terrifying if you think about it. For the rest it. of the National League and the rest of baseball. It really is, but not for <laughs> us. We're really excited about it. Absolutely. Another guy who is a great game changer for you would be Spencer Strider. He's exciting to watch every night. Yeah, every fifth day, this is a guy that can do something that you may have never seen before. That's the beauty of having a pitcher like this. And the strikeouts that he's racking up and the way that he is doing it with two pitches, you just don't see pitchers, starting pitchers, able to do this. He dominated the Marlins at Truist Park not long ago. You had their manager saying, it was like facing a closer for eight innings <laughs> I, I as that. he was flirting with that no hitter. Now, it's not all going to be coming out, striking out 13 or 14 guys every time. There's still going to be some ups and downs, but Spencer Strider is so cerebral and so committed to being 1% better than the day before. It gives him the mindset to go with the skill set to be one of the best pitchers in baseball, and I think he's arriving in that group right now. He's so much fun to watch. I also saw Twitter talking about his legs the other day. Quadzilla. <laughs> Quadzilla. I love that. Another game changer for you is a guy who returned from the IL, Max yep. Freed. He is the ace for the Braves. He's looked really good in his starts back, right? Yeah, no question. And you saw Max Freed. He was so efficient to start spring training that you just started thinking in the back of your mind, could this be the best we've ever seen, Max wow. Freed? Then you got to go through that whole opening day foolishness where he does strain a hamstring. It costs him a couple of weeks. But then he comes off the IL and looks exactly like the Max Freed that we expect to see. He throws six different pitches. So good luck figuring out what he's going to do. <laughs> 95 to 96 miles an hour when he needs it. He cuts the ball. He sinks the ball. He's got that great curveball. He added a slider. He has a changeup. He may have a seventh pitch by the time the year's over or by the time we finish this segment. Who knows? But this is a guy who has honed his craft to the top level. He's a Cy Young Award contender, runner-up last year. I think he's going to be right there in the conversation this year at the front of the rotation for the Braves. He's certainly one of the best in all of Major League no Baseball. Thank goodness he is here in Atlanta. Okay, one last game changer for you, Austin Riley. He's a guy that the Braves are committed to long term. Mm -hmm. Hasn't really been what we want him to be, right? But he can be. No, he certainly can be. And that's what you invest in an Austin Riley for is because of the middle of the order thump that he provides. And when you think about the player and the person that you sign for a long term deal, that's a huge component of this. I don't know that I've been around a Braves player that works harder than Austin Riley sure. and I'm talking about covering him from the minor leagues on up. He spent the offseason trying to get that much better but it's a long game. It's a hard game. It's a humbling game. Baseball yeah. is and I think Austin Riley has seen a little bit about the, a little bit of that this year but as he starts to get I think his launch angle back to where it needs to be it's at a career low this year and he starts to make those adjustments to get back in charge of really pulverizing fastballs. We're going to see the Austin Riley we've seen the last two years. I'm not too worried about him figuring it out. Glimmers of hope from Austin Riley. Always glimmers of hope from you, Grant. I appreciate you so your much. time as always. Stay with us. We'll be right back to wrap things up after the break.